If you think forcing black slaves to work in plantations and treating them like animals was just the end of cruelties, you don't know what the slaves went through. Beating, dehumanizing, forcing them to mate in breeding farms, and stripping them of their identity were just nothing when compared to the untold things they had to face. Perhaps until now, you have been told only the superficial reality of slavery, so you think that it was all. But the truth is, the world does not know enough about what was normal to slaves during slavery, which shakes us to our very core today. In this video, we will tell you about the 10 untold things that were normal to slaves that showed a new dark level of brutality and how low humans can fall. Let's get started. Number 10. Being smoked alive. Sometimes there are no limits to the gruesome punishments that can be given to black slaves. Even if laws existed to safeguard the slaves, everybody knew they existed only on paper as the country was only of white people. Hence, slave owners would try to experiment with how low they could go in torturing the slaves. That's when the disturbing punishment of smoking the slaves alive was thought of. One chilling account comes from William W. Brown, an escaped slave who courageously shared his experiences. He revealed a horrifying practice that was common in Virginia. He said that a slave owner would tie slaves and lead them to a smokehouse. Once inside, the slaves would face not only whippings, but a much more sinister cruelty. The owner would ignite a fire using tobacco stems, filling the room with thick, suffocating smoke. Enslaved individuals were compelled to inhale this choking smoke as an additional form of punishment. One can scarcely fathom the depths of cruelty and disregard for human life that prevailed during that era. What makes this even more shocking is that these punishments occurred despite the existence of laws meant to protect slaves. Number nine, mutilation. You see, slaves endured grueling physical labor, especially on cotton plantations and in the fields. Those who worked in their master's homes were often expected to meet certain appearance standards, favoring those with lighter skin or better communication skills. Sadly, when slaves engaged in acts of resistance or conflicts among themselves erupted, owners frequently resorted to mutilation as a form of punishment. These barbaric acts ranged from cutting off ears or cutting the flesh to more extreme measures such as amputating limbs, gouging out eyes, severing hamstrings, and even castrating both males and females. Tragically, the victims of these gruesome acts rarely received any medical attention or treatment for their injuries, leading many to succumb to infections, severe blood loss, and other life-threatening complications. Number eight, brandings. Branding is a brutal practice involving the burning of flesh with a heated metal tool, which leaves a mark for the entire life. The purpose of branding was to mark slaves as someone's property, making it easier to identify them and deter theft or unauthorized selling of slaves. Cattle were branded, and now this has been given up too, so animals don't have to feel the pain. But imagine this was done to black slaves without ever thinking about the pain they endured. Large companies often branded their slaves to assert ownership and discourage others from making claims about them. In Louisiana, a law known as the Code Noir permitted the branding of slaves as a punishment for attempting to escape. By 1840, New Orleans had become the largest slave market in the country, subjecting countless individuals to this cruel practice. Particularly in the Southern states, branding became a common form of punishment for slaves who dared to seek freedom. The branding mark, often a letter or a distinct symbol, was scorched onto the slave's face, making it difficult for them to work in their master's house or serve in more privileged roles. The act of branding left a permanent scar, both physical and emotional, serving as a painful reminder of their status as property and the harsh consequences of seeking freedom. Number seven, whipping. One of the most prevalent and vicious forms of punishment inflicted on enslaved people was whipping. Whipping was a merciless and calculated method employed to assert dominance and control over enslaved individuals. Slave owners and overseers resorted to whipping to instill fear, prevent uprisings, and reinforce white superiority. The whip, cutting through their skin, inflicted not only physical agony but also deep emotional trauma, serving as a constant reminder of their subservient status. The history of whipping as a punishment for slaves is replete with countless examples of its brutality. One chilling account comes from the story of Harriet Jacobs, an escaped slave and author of the book, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl. In her book, Jacobs vividly describes the anguish of witnessing a slave owner brutally whip one of his plantation slaves. She recalls the blood and gore on the walls the following morning, 
a haunting testament to the violence endured. Another brutal example is the story of a slave named Gordon, also known as Whipped Peter. His back bore the horrifying testimony of countless lashings with a lattice of scars crisscrossing his skin. These scars served as a constant reminder of the unspeakable suffering endured by enslaved people. However, the horrors did not cease with the initial beatings. Some heartless slave owners went to even greater lengths to inflict pain and prolong the agony. When the wounds of their slaves began to heal, these owners would order that the wounds be reopened to intensify the suffering. They applied substances like red pepper and turpentine to the reopened wounds, causing unimaginable burning pain. One account even tells of an owner who ground a brick into dust, mixed it with lard, and rubbed this concoction into the deep wounds of a helpless slave. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video, and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. Number 6. The Hogshead Former slaves have recounted horrifying stories of abuse and torture, shedding light on the brutality they endured. One such courageous slave was Moses Roper, who escaped slavery and penned a book about his life. In his account, he unveiled the harsh realities that enslaved people in America had to confront. Moses shared how some slave owners took pleasure in inflicting corporal punishment. He narrated a particularly chilling tale involving a slaveholder who possessed a large barrel known as a hog's head. This barrel was filled with nails, their sharp ends pointing inward. The owner would compel slaves into these barrels and then roll them down steep hills, all while he and other slaves looked on. Stuffed into those barrels with nails digging into their bodies, they endured a perilous and degrading horror, all while being watched by their owner and others. Number 5. Suspended over fire, Harriet Jacobs, another brave soul who escaped slavery and chronicled her experiences, shared a horrifying punishment. She described falling into the hands of a relentless slave owner who subjected her to regular harassment, despite his wife's protests. To avoid him, Harriet hid herself in the crawl space in her grandmother's ceiling for seven agonizing years before eventually fleeing to England. Yet this was not the only terrifying experience she endured. In proximity to her hiding spot lived a cruel slaveholder who handled hundreds of slaves. This master had a favorite punishment that was both excruciating and horrifying. He would suspend a slave above the ground and then ignite a fire beneath him. As the flames crackled and spat, a piece of fatty pork would sizzle above the inferno. The burning fat would then drip onto the unfortunate slave's bare skin, inflicting unbearable pain. Each drop of scalding fat that fell from above left searing marks on their bodies. The fierce heat intensified their suffering, making it a truly nightmarish experience. This cycle of abuse and degradation not only wrought physical pain and suffering, but also shattered any hope of a better life for the enslaved individuals. Number four, demotion or sale. Punishments weren't confined to just whippings and beatings. There were other ways in which slave owners asserted their dominance. George Washington, America's first president, not only endorsed physical punishments for slaves, but also supported demoting them or selling them if they failed to meet expectations. While demotion may not initially sound as terrible as some of the other horrors we have discussed, for a slave, it could mean the difference between life and death. Slaves who didn't meet their owner's expectations or didn't work hard enough faced demotion. This meant being taken from their current, perhaps less physically demanding roles, such as working in the house or having a skilled trade and being thrust into the harsh fields. Owners knew the reason behind the demotion and felt justified to punish the sold slaves. Field work was grueling, and physically demanding, and subjected them to even more brutal treatment from owners and overseers. Number three, forced reproduction. Among the numerous atrocities endured by slaves, forced reproduction stands as one of the most harrowing. Slaves were frequently subjected to vile harassment and assaults. Shockingly, there were no laws to shield them from such abuse. When women became pregnant due to these heinous acts, they seldom received medical care or special consideration. In fact, they often faced even harsher treatment from the wives of their owners. Men who were enslaved were not exempt from suffering either. They were coerced into sleeping with various women as their owners exploited them for their own purposes. This exploitation magnified the anguish and misery they were already grappling with. In 1808, a law was enacted in the United States to prohibit the importation of slaves, leading to a scarcity of slaves in the South. Consequently, the demand for black individuals surged especially those capable of reproduction. Slaves were bought and sold based on their reproductive abilities and compelled to mate with other slaves to produce more children for their owners. Number two, 
long-term chaining. The use of chains found its inception on slave ships, where Africans were shackled together in cramped and oppressive conditions. Runaway slaves often endured long-term chaining as a punitive measure. They were fastened to their workstations or to fellow enslaved individuals, stripping them of their freedom and compelling them into labor. In some instances, lines of slaves were joined by chains, forming a sad march as they struggled in unison, performing menial tasks. Unfortunately, this practice laid the groundwork for the infamous chain gangs that would later come to symbolize the oppressive conditions within U.S. prisons. One particularly notorious figure known for her brutal treatment of slaves was Madame Delphine LaLaurie. In the 19th century, investigations were launched to uncover the truth about her treatment of slaves. However, it was a fire in her residence in 1834 that unveiled the shocking extent of her cruelty. During the fire, an elderly female slave found herself chained to the stove, becoming trapped in the flames that engulfed her. As the fire raged, more horrifying revelations came to light within the LaLaurie mansion. In the attic, several enslaved individuals were discovered in distressing conditions, suspended by their necks and painfully restrained by chains that stretched and tore their flesh. The attic morphed into a haunting chamber resonating with the silent suffering of those entrapped and abused within its confines. Number 1. Public burnings. Punishments in slavery weren't solely about inflicting private pain. They often served as messages to other slaves and, shockingly, as entertainment for onlookers. Among the most horrifying forms of punishment was the public burning. In this gruesome action, a slave accused of wrongdoing would be either tied to a stake or suspended above a raging fire. This served a dual purpose. First, it was a stark warning to other slaves, compelling them to witness in fear as the flames consumed a fellow enslaved person's body. A chilling reminder that disobedience or defiance would meet the same horrifying fate. Yet, it wasn't just other slaves forced to witness these public burnings. Owners from neighboring plantations and even people from nearby towns would gather to watch. They viewed it as a form of entertainment as if the suffering and agony of human beings were a dark form of amusement. The cruelty and horror extended beyond the initial moments. Some slaves, overwhelmed by smoke and heat, would faint or lose consciousness even before the fire fully consumed them. However, for many others, there was no escape. They were left to suffer as the flames engulfed them their cries piercing the air until they were silenced forever. Did you know black slaves were treated and punished this way, which was normal for them? Doesn't it show that humans can break all borders when it comes to being inhumane? Let us know your take on this. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, stay tuned.